that opening lick, a ring finger on the three of the B, pointer finger on the two of the D, change strings. What a great little hook. It's so simple. It's, it's like, it's like childlike. So that's what he's doing over there. Uh, Tom Verlaine is on the other side doing a... That's a G major 7 chord. Great chord to know if you don't know it. Middle finger on the 3 of the low E. Ring finger sneaking on the 3 of the B. Pointer finger hiding back here on the 1 of the uh, high E, giving us a major 7. That's just a D power chord, 0, 2, 3. And so when the verse kicks over, Richard Lloyd is still doing the... But Tom is doing a cool... Great two guitar interplay. That's so brilliant. That's the, the notes are just flopping around and crashing into each other in a beautiful way. So that's it. His, uh, he's thinking a G, O, O, 3, 3. Take that ring off. That's his G lick. And then he's thinking a D. Oh, yeah, he does this same chord in Marky Moon. Anyway, O, 2, 3, 5 for his D. Again, that's going to come off. So you got... through that three times that cycle and then an E minor and then an A and I think on those yeah Richard Lloyd does almost the same thing he does this for his E minor on his A he does do a cool little little lick there Then the chorus uh, is B minor, F sharp minor. So that's what Tom's doing. And then E minor. So let me, that's Tom's part of the chorus, and we'll discuss the after chorus maneuver in a second. Richard for the chorus. So he's taking his idea from the verse, that rhythmically and kind of melodically, and reshaping it to fit over the chorus, because he's smart and talented, and that's why he's famous. So that is fourth fret on my G, and two, three, five, two, five, five. We'll get back to that in a second. So there's there's the first half of the verse. Now, yeah, uh, we'll go back over to Tom. Uh, and so that kind of part, when they're done singing, the Tom is going. So that's A, G over B, which is just two, O, O, O. A over C sharp, 4, 2, 2, 2, back to G over B. So. And by the way, the other, uns well, I mean, I think we all know who like television, that everybody in the band is a genius, because the bass player, he's doing a complimentary thing also. So actually the bass line in this song is, is excellent as well. Just the, all the playing is just brilliant. Uh, but yeah, that's what Tom's doing. And then 
so Richard comes in. So what that is, by the way, that's really just a, a more interesting way to go A, G, A, G, A, G, A, G. Um, change the inversions around to make it interesting. So that technically is Mixolydian. So Richard comes in with this very creative... Mixolydian run, which is, is weird. It's a weird one. Mixolydian is a cool scale. If you don't know, it's basically the funky major scale. It's almost just... But it has a flat seven. And he uses that throughout television. It's one of the scales he uses a lot. It's in uh, See No Evil. It's in, is it in Marky Moon? Yes, it's in Marky Moon too. It's kind of a Richard Lloyd scale. It's also a Richard Thompson scale and a Robbie Krieger scale. And yeah, it's just a cool scale. So I think he's thinking of a form of it that runs. Honestly, it's not even a form I like to use, so let's just worry about his lick here. Uh, five, seven, five, seven. That's the first part. And then he jumps over to here to uh, this uh, seven here. So that first half of the first phrase. And then he's going to repeat, rhythmically, he's going to repeat his rhythms because, again, he's smart and a genius. So that part, I'm on uh, nine there. Seven, ten, eight, ten, twelve. So we got... Gonna get to this nine. Yeah, and notice he worked his way back down. Ten to twelve again. Great pre-bend there. Again, bend it first. Let me break that all down real slow. next okay yeah and when it hits that four that's when uh tom hits actually no wait it just stays and there's that little oh wait yeah it hits that and then there's like a little twinkly overdub which i'm pretty sure is tom verlaine that's 12. And then I'm going to go to 11. And then you're back around to the... Great song. Yeah, really beautiful song. Um, well, I hope that's helpful for you. By the way, if, if you find that stuff hard to follow, I do have tabs for this stuff. Just hit me up via email and I can send you the charts and tabs for a nominal fee because um, I don't really need to make a giant profit here, but I do need to be, you know, compensated for my time a little bit. Well, I hope that's helpful for you, and thanks so much for watching.